Hello friends, I am Dr. Vikram Sihapawar Patil working as an assistant professor in the Department of Geography at the New College Kolhapur. Today we are going to expound about the crop suitability analysis using climatic data of uh, Diva GIS and uh, Diva GIS software. So friends, as you know that India is basically agrarian country and uh, we are having about 52% of uh, population that have been engaged in agricultural activities. So we need to think this sector uh, thoroughly and uh, we have to study this agricultural aspects with the help of uh, recent and advanced geospatial technologies and data. So friends, let me first of all make you familiar with the Diva GIS software. This is the software package which is freely available on internet that you can download and use. Here is the project data layer, map, analysis, modeling, these kind of uh, operations that you can do with the help of this software. So friends, my concern is that here I would like to explore the eco crop model that you can see this uh, flower picture that is sh shown the eco crop model. So eco crop model is basically model which is being utilized for the delineation of uh, any kind of crop suitability using climatic data. So friends, we need two kind of things of which first one is the boundary layer of any region. Suppose you have to delineate the crop suitability in a Kolhapur district. So I have imported this uh, Kolapur district, the seal wise Kolapur, uh, the seal layer of Kolapur district by using this add layer option. I am again showing this. This is the layer which is in shape file format that I have added here. Remember, one thing is that this layer must be on a geo geographic coordinate. You need not to reproject it. If you use the reprojected layer here, then it will not be worked. So it has to be, uh, it has geographic projection. So we are having this layer of Kolapur district and we need climatic data that I have downloaded from Diva GIS website. This is here, Diva World Climb data that is of uh, that is having 2.5 minute gridded information of altitude, precipitation, maximum temperature, minimum temperature like that. So this you have to download from the Diva GIS website and store there. So after that, downloading the climatic data, you need to import this database in the Diva GIS environment. So by using this tools option and within that tools option, there is an option toolbar which is utilized for the importing climatic data into the software. So this, this is the folder where I have stored this world climb 2.5 minute gridded climatic data these all parameters that will automatically taken by the software you have to just uh, uh, click apply and uh, it will be stored i have already stored this information and by using this information software is going to 
provide us suitability layer of uh, any crop so there is an option that is known as modeling option within that modeling option you will find this kind of information and this is the eco crop model that we are going to explore today so i am going to open it or you can just double click here it will be why, why it is not working okay here is the eco crop model window that has popped up here you will find three fundamental operations first operation is a select then second one operation is a parameters that we need to select here let us go one by one this is the select option where you have of uh, about 1700 crop database that is stored in this uh, model you have to select particular model suppose you want to get suitability of sugarcane crop so i have selected here sugarcane crop for the analysis you can choose any kind of crop any kind of any kind of crop just i am exploring this database 1700 crops are over there you can select anyone that you like i am going to select sugarcane crop for the analysis because Kolhapur district is having more area under sugarcane crop okay i have selected this selection process you can do by using this name name of the crop scientific name of the crop or you can use operators like name is equal to sugarcane start with contents with but sometimes these operations are not workable so i have selected this manually okay then here is the parameters that eco crop model is being used g mean growing season this is the minimum maximum growing season of uh, uh, sugarcane this is the temperature variables that kt mean I have explanation of about all this KT mean means absolute temperature that will kill the plant T mean means minimum average temperature at which the plant will grow TOP MN means minimum average temperature at which the plant will grow optimally like that other rainfall related aspects r mean means minimum rainfall during the growing season rop mean is equal to optimal minimum rainfall during the growing season like that all the aspects that you can see here and after that third one is the or you can change it you can edit it if you are having own field scale database that you can input here and after that here you have to 
select this read option read from the layer or you can draw the rectangle by using this draw rectangle option for maximum extent and here you have to select the world climb climatic database that is associated with the temperature and uh, precipitation and after that uh, you can select this limiting factor minimum of temperature and precipitation score or you can select this interaction between temperature times and precipitation score you can select this rain dur during growing season or you can select this rain during uh, year we are dealing with the sugar cane crop so i have selected this rain during the year and after that here is the output you have to select the output folder and name for the for the uh, output i have given the sugarcane suitability grid that is uh, name for the output and you have to just click apply it will be pop up here it will be automatically loaded here you can change the sequence uh, i have just overlaid this kolapur layer boundary you can explore the properties of uh, this uh, obtained output you can here you can see that this is up to 100 here is the classification methods you can change this equal interval or you can use this propagate option for the classification you can change here the color band green to red or you can reverse it by using this you can see the information that is being explored you can see the history what we have used which crop we have studied this is the complete database of uh, the crop climatic variables we have used temperature and precipitation this is the date so as this way you can explore the crop suitability of uh, any region you can export this export you can export this uh, as a shape file format or kmz format for the further analysis so friends as this way this is the very powerful and uh, easy method to delineate the crop suitability of uh, any uh, crop but only thing is that this is based on the climatic factors or limited climatic factors only temperature and precipitation has taken into consideration if you want to do full suitability crop suitability analysis then we have to think about terrain characteristics soil characteristics water availability soil moisture like that all kind of things we have to take into consideration but for the agroclimatic suitability i think this is the best option and uh, this is totally freely available anybody can use it so friends thank you for watching the video